Turning now to the pandemic, vax up or mask up as of tomorrow morning, the statewide mandate takes effect. Businesses must either require masks or require proof of vaccination. While it may not change much for many places in the city that are already subject to vaccine requirements, Fox 5's Mike Sachs shows us how some restaurants in Yonkers, for instance, are preparing to enforce this. Mike. The better is the people come safe and I stay safe always. The owner of Gustico Latin Kitchen in Yonkers preparing for a new month long mask mandate going into effect on Monday. If it's a ruler, it's for everybody, you know. No, not for me, not for another, not for everybody. You know, it's better. On Friday, Governor Kathy Hochul announced the new mask mandate for all indoor public places that haven't implemented vaccine requirements heading into the holidays. And this is a, a preemptive strike to make sure that we can protect people, stop this from spreading, particularly with the unknown uh, characteristics of the new variant. The governor cited the state's 43% rise in the seven-day average case rate and 29% jump in hospitalizations since Thanksgiving. Hochul says she will reassess the mask mandate on January 15th, but until then, indoor businesses and venues that don't screen for proof of full vaccination will face a $1,000 fine if found in violation of the mask requirement. Still, enforcing the new mandate won't be a shock for businesses like Crave Wings, which has maintained its own mask policy throughout the pandemic. It's not difficult to do that for me, <laughs> personally. <laughs> but usually I have an extra face mask that I offer to them. The mandate applies to people ages 2 and up, though customers can remove their masks while eating and drinking at bars and restaurants. And places with vaccine mandates can serve children between the ages of 5 and 11, who've so far just received their first shots. But back at Gustico, some customers don't welcome the return of the mask. Yeah, I'm kind of over it by now. Like, we did it for like a whole year and some change. I'm kind of over it. Now, New York isn't the only state to reinstitute mask mandates. About a half dozen other states have returned to those requirements when faced with similar surges in positive COVID cases. I'm reporting from Yonkers, Mike Sachs, Fox 5 News.